it's jerky time. I'm excited. This is my third jerky snob receival. They keep sending them to me. I can't, but Jerky Gent did the bait and switch. This month, it came in a bag, flat bag, same as Jerky Snob. The first month, it came like a nice package with stuff, so I get what they're doing, but it's not the jerky. So we'll see. This is the one that came in the mail probably like two weeks ago. So I've just been waiting for the Jerky Gent to get in, and lo and behold, another Jerky Snob came. So now we have two Jerky Snobs versus a Jerky Gent. What can we do? Haven't looked at this one yet. I did open it before I realized what it was. You know what? We're gonna put this one like in the back as a tiebreaker. Let's start with Jerky Gent. Ooh. First of all, I don't know. This looks cool. The first one comes from Big Country Beef Jerky, Abilene, Texas. ACU quarterback Peyton Manzel started making beef jerky for a high protein snack after sharing his jerky with his team. Demand grew to the point which he had none left for himself. At that point, Big, Be Big Country Beef Jerky was born, established in 2022. This one, interesting. All the jerky is up here. It's like, it's like vacuum sealed. I wonder if it's gonna inflate like a mattress. Oh. Okay, it's just a sheet of jerky. I like this jerky, Jen. They're introducing me to new jerkies. This is what I wanted out of a jerky subscription box. They stepped up their game this week. <laughs> it is very dry and like kind of hard, honestly. As you chew it, you kind of rehydrate it with your saliva and the beef flavor is like seeping out. It's actually really good. It's kind of like beef gum, to be honest, but it is really good. I really like that. Okay, next one, Chuda Beef. The name is fantastic. From Long Beach, California, after a successful Kickstarter campaign in 2014, Chuda Beef started making small batch jerky using a homemade recipes and all natural ingredients for exceptional tasting, one of a kind jerky flavors. This flavor is garlic-yaki, garlic garlic and teriyaki. It's definitely not as tough as the other one. It also looks a little gray, I would say, and there's like little flakier bits coming off that are like more white. This isn't my favorite. It's not very soft, but you can bite it off. It just, the beef, it doesn't taste like really good quality beef. Yeah, the beef is just not good. I don't know what else to say. Regular gas store jerky would just be better than that. But I like their marketing and maybe they have some other cool flavors and I like the whole small business Kickstarter thing. So, but as far as their jerky this time is not good. But this is really good. Okay, now we're on to jerky snob. I'm gonna start with their one that just came. We got our monthly card and then we got this and this. Total ounces. <gasps> Stop. Wait, <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's true to beef too. Okay. Twist, Chuda Beef is getting a second shot here. We'll see, this one's Hawaiian style. So we already know about Chuda Beef. Jerky Snob seems to vow for this flavor. We'll see, can their beef be better? Because their beef was not great. So they're, they're resurrecting from the dead over here. Baja Jerky is from Buena Park, California. They are big on enjoying an outdoor lifestyle and love sharing their product with athletes and their customers. They also partner with three groups that support adaptive and accessible water sport and adaptive surfing for people with disabilities. 
Now with their very own USDA facility, they are able to make our order fast and fresh just for you. The flavor is Kraken Pepper Beef Jerky. Bold, bright, bangin'. Mmm. I don't know why I was giving it to you as well. It's a little redder. Ooh, yeah, way redder than chew to beef. I don't know if you can see those little like circles where it must have been sitting on a rack. So that makes me feel like people made it. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting seasoning falling. This is really good. The jerky is, is more tough again, but like not as, I feel like this one, once you've chewed it, I don't wanna say it became smooth, but this one, it like stays in crumbly pieces a little bit in your mouth. The flavor of the beef is really good and it's very peppery. Um, okay, we're gonna move to chew to beef. I think it was listening to me and it was like, no, we're coming back. This one looks better actually. Oh, it's got orange juice. You know what I'm saying about it being like a little gray? This one is better though. Like it breaks in a little bit. I like the flavor better on this one. Yeah, I don't know if I'd buy these again. Maybe this is just a bad batch of beef that they got. Should we throw this guy in there? Okay, cool, we got two new ones. I love the branding. Side Project Jerky's mottos are jerky for gentlemen and well-bred, well-fed, tasteful beef jerky. They boast delicious marinades and exact drying times for perfect flavor and textured jerky. Their creative approach to flavors is why we are so excited to include them from time to time. This flavor is Southwestern green chili spiked with cumin and cayenne. Ooh, I like that. This beef looks like smooth. The color is good. This is really good. All the spices are really balanced, but you can still taste the beef really well. People's Choice from LA, California. Wow, everything is from California. Founded in 1929 as a local meat market, now run by the third and fourth generation, they create natural style beef jerky drawing inspiration from their grandfather's recipes and techniques. Their jerky products are a direct representation of their commitment to flavor, quality, and family. Classic meats for modern times. Love that. The flavor is hash green chili. Cool. Ooh, I already know I'm gonna like this. So there are all these pieces. Mmm, that green hatch chili, you can really smell it. I don't have a huge spice tolerance, so. Really good. This one probably has the best flavor actually out of all of them. Really, really good. My favorite is still this one. I don't know if it's the wow factor of like the vacuum sealed bag and like a brick of jerky that was just fun. And this one was really fun, so. Thank you.